rose, black rose. Black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Ah uh, ah, uh, black rose, black rose. Black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Ah uh, ah, uh, black rose, black rose. Black Rose, Black What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Lando Success. Hope all is well. In this video, we're going to talk about Shift Smart, and I am actually going to be a mystery shopper. I'm going to show you guys exactly how you pick up an order in the app. How does it look? How some little tips and trips, tips and trips, tips and tricks on how you can do it. And then I'm actually going to show you guys a video that I recorded when I was out of town, and I actually went and did an order. It was at a Walmart, so I can show you guys exactly how this supposed to be done, how you can make $14 within 30 All right, so right here, I found this while I was driving. Once you pick it up, you click start when you're at the place, and they have a pre-checklist to make sure you don't have the C word, and then you want to check into the location. If you are not at the location, it is not going to help you out. And you want to take a picture in front of the store. So they like, hey, make sure you take a picture in front of the store. And another thing they don't show right here is take a picture of the parking lot. So they can tell, they can see how busy it is. So you want to do that also. Once you do all of the stuff, and this is where I'm actually doing my little picture and saving it because it didn't show. It went through the first time. Preview survey is optional. They're telling me the date that is due what's the product you can click that preview task that preview task click that shop guidelines and they will give you a step by step how they want you to do it if you want to look at it that way let's get back to the video let's go so i'm literally going to the section where they got the computers i'm going to find somebody to talk to and i'm going to act like i am a mystery shopper and put on my mystery shopper face <laughs> All right, so I'm in the section of the computer section. Hey, how you doing? Look at that. So I'm in the computer section, and all I'm doing is talking to one of these workers in this area. And we're going to talk about the Chromebooks. Yes, the 3060. Right, that part is done. I went, I asked some questions, I talked to them. So all I'm doing is going back into the app and answering all the questions. When you do it more than three times, you're gonna know what to expect. You're gonna know what questions to ask because 99% of these surveys ask the same thing over and over. So I know you're gonna be nervous the first time. First time I was hella nervous didn't know what to expect I kept on going back and looking to the notes but the company is not too crazy over it they just want you to stick to the main talking points and try to have a regular conversation so now I'm just going to answer all the questions the best I possibly can submit it and get paid $14 once they review it so usually it take like an hour or two after that you are good to go voila that's how you make $14 for doing a secret shopper survey. All right, so this is the overview. I'm gonna give you some tips. First, you wanna pick up your order. One thing most people don't know, once you pick up an order at the bottom of it, it tell you what day it expire. So even if you, let's say you pick it up today at 7 p.m. and Best Buy close at nine, it more than likely expire tomorrow or the next day where you got time. When you're going into these stores, just be regular. My first time, I feel like I was like breaking the law where I was a ninja, I had to sneak in there and everybody knew I was a secret shopper. <laughs> like everybody, it's, it's crazy, right? But now since I've been doing it for a while, I just walk in there like, what up though, I need help. <laughs> you know, you wanna be more relaxed. Like, yeah, yeah, well your first time just read everything. But after that, it's the same thing over and over. Like I was taking notes and Hey, just do whatever works for you at that point. Another one is make sure you do the same thing every time. Park in the same area. Make sure you're going to take the picture of the parking lot because they require that. Make sure you don't forget to take that selfie picture. Take the selfie picture and a parking lot picture in your phone instead of on their app. When you do it on their app, it don't save to your phone. And when you have a Wi-Fi or any type of miscommunication with the phone, 
it don't save it and that makes you have to do it again especially when you have to go take pictures of those chromebooks when you go in there they're like hey go take a picture of the chromebooks how many of them were they so make sure you count how many chromebooks it was take that picture in your phone because the worst thing is to leave and you got to go back because you didn't have the picture for it outside of that answer the survey questions the best you can let's get this money together i am lando success make sure you press that link in the description that'll be able to sign you up for if it's not this job it'll be one of the jobs and you'll be able to find it somewhere make sure you like subscribe i'm lando success and i'm out good luck